Hello friends and welcome to another cosplay video. So today is the day before the live show and I'm gonna finally put on all of the pieces of my costume. I've tried on my skirt, my wig, um, but I haven't really tried on the tops I have which I'm gonna show you before I um, put them on. However, I'm also gonna do my makeup. I can reach for a well-worn book to give me an escape. I've been testing my makeup a little bit this week. I've done it twice so far, I think. Um, so I think I have a vague idea of what I wanted. Brie filmed me a video which was actually very helpful and I think I'm gonna use it this time when I put it on. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I've been using. Let me just collect it. So my plan with my pink cat ear mirror is pretty basic. Um, as you can tell by the title, if you didn't realize I am cosplaying Steris this month. Steris is a character from Mistborn Era 2 who I love a lot. I think she's a great character. Um, she's so interesting. I relate to her on some levels and not on others but like overall she's just a very fun character and the fandom seems very focused on putting her in like a dusty light blue. So that is the color palette for my whole costume basically. Um, the skirt I went dark blue because I feel like it needed to like offset it a little because I if it was like a full set it would be fine as like the same color because it would all match but I have different pieces with different blues so I figured the skirt just darker would be good because it would also go with other things so I have a dark skirt which I will show you in a bit it matches the skirt Brie is wearing which we thought was cute because we're doing sisters she's doing Maris eye um if her video is up already I will link it my makeup is very blue I'm mostly just using one palette that I got from Colourpop. It's called On Cloud Blue. Blue's in it. So mostly I've been using this blue, let's see, this blue, this blue, and then this blue at the very corner. I tried it with this blue but I don't feel like it worked as well. And then I've been using a little bit of this like shimmery white in the very very corners. I think it looks good. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not like a very makeup person. I've been doing makeup for some of these cosplays one other cosplay I think I did makeup for and that was Alvarion and that was obviously much more out there I feel like this is closer to what I would actually do my makeup as I feel like Steris would wear makeup but would do it very minimally um yeah so eyeshadow I have just a uh, just an eyeliner pen I have these two brushes to do some eyeshadowy stuff with I'm probably not gonna put this on today but I do have like a, a BB cream that helps with everything but I have I have a pimple coming in so I'm not gonna do that to my skin today oh I also have a it's a matcha green tea priming moisturizer I'm just gonna mostly put it around my eyes and then I use the Maybelline falsies volume express waterproof mascara I really like this mascara I have no idea why um, but I do like it a lot so and then I don't think I'm gonna do anything with my lips. If I do, it'll be this, and I'll tell you about it. One of the reasons I'm putting all of this on today, besides just to test everything out and see how it looks, is because I wanna take full body pictures for this cosplay. I think it would be really fun and just like good. I've been wanting to take full body pictures for like most of the cosplays I have full body stuff for, and this is one of those that I do have a full body outfit for. A few of them we've only had like, you know, torso up, so can't really do full body photos for that. This one I can and I think it's gonna look pretty good and I want to do it today so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow because we have a lot to get done for this live show. We have the synopsis, the, we're doing a PowerPoint presentation, it's a whole thing. Uh, if you miss the live show by the way you can watch it back. I'm gonna highly recommend it even though we haven't done it yet because I know it's gonna be a good one. We're talking about fans of morning and secret history and that is just gonna be a ride. So link for the live show down in the description go watch it enjoy yeah next month is way of kings which is gonna be a whole thing so definitely subscribe to stick around for that because that's gonna be fun so besides that I'll show you the other pieces for my cosplay and then I'll give you a clip of me very poorly doing my makeup and you can see how bad I am at it top pieces I have you're not gonna be able to see very well but this is like a costume top it's this pretty blue color and it has like ruching there's some little pockets down here and the sleeve is all ruched and it just looks very I don't know it looks like something Sarah would wear to me so I bought this it's kind of see-through but I think I'm gonna wear like a white tank top under it I think that will work 
and then I have this which is in a different shade of blue but I think it works it kind of needs to be ironed though I guess I can probably do that for tomorrow but it's just like a little let's see if I can get it up. it's a little like half jacket which I feel like she would also wear in this time period I do feel like it wouldn't be this fabric material it would be like stiffer material but I couldn't find one so we're going with this that's my top half I'll show you my skirt later and what else oh the wig done so Staris is blonde and I always picture her and I think a lot of people do always picture her as having her hair up out of the way um not matronly but like she is technically like spinstery and everything and so this is the you're not gonna be able to see it very good I'll show you when I have it on and it's a little fray right now it was a very cheap wig from Amazon but it has this uh braid down the side into a bun and I like it a lot so we're gonna put this on in a bit and go from there hair coming out of it which I might just trim off I don't really know what to do with it so because I can't brush it because it's like an up wig like it comes pre up so yes yeah, so that is the plan for the cosplay and now I'm gonna try and put it on so let's see how this goes I don't know how well this filming of me doing my makeup is actually gonna go but I'll try um don't do anything I do probably like just don't so I'm gonna put my make my mirror like down here like, right here so it's right below the lens okay that should work I might not be able to show you me doing my eyeliner because I'm gonna get real close to the mirror to do it so oh and I'm gonna use my wig cap to keep my hair back because that just seems like the logical thing to do I'm gonna have to put it on in a minute anyway I'll admit, I didn't implement any of the things Brie told me to do, so sorry about that Brie. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. I don't know why, but I was just like not prepared. Um, yeah, so I don't know how I feel about this eye makeup, but we're gonna do it. The eye makeup doesn't really matter to me for like the full body photos, and I'll take like face photos today, but I'll probably retake them tomorrow just to see, depending on how they look and everything. So. I think I have to do mascara and then the makeup is done I'm not gonna film me doing mascara because you always do the dumb face and that's just no one wants to see that I'll come back to you when I am dressed with my wig on as Daris so I have got to tell you getting this wig on was very very hard it took me like 15 or 20 minutes normally I'm not that bad with wigs but I don't know what it is about like this one has like the hair piece and the bun and it felt just so much harder to get on than normal um, there's also hair everywhere but I think I finally got the bangs to fit right right and then like certain angles you can kind of see like this but this helps so maybe if I just take a little more and put it over there put it like under my glasses a little maybe that will help I mean that looks pretty good I can't do anything about my eyebrows so mostly hoping the bangs like cover them and then you know you don't really notice um, I could, I realize, technically brush out the bangs part, but I don't think I'm gonna try because this wig is very cheap and therefore very likely to fall apart on me at any moment, honestly. There keeps being these random strings of hair that I just keep cutting. Uh, yeah, but I think I got the hair done, so accomplishments. Now let me go actually put on the outfit. Okay, I have this top on in like a very precarious way right now. So, what I have done is, first of all, I have nothing underneath this top, so there's that. Um, I think when I do the live show, it's taped to me right now, so I can't change anything at the moment. But I think for the live show, I'm gonna do like, I can't find my white tank top, but hopefully tomorrow or later I can find it. So, I have it pinned here and then taped here. And I think for the live show, I might actually tape it like all the way down for the buttons because these button loops do not work for the life of them. It's a very precarious top and I don't know a bra on. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully that shot doesn't get us in trouble on YouTube. I don't think it will. My boobs are covered, so it's fine. But yeah, so like this part, oh, you can't see tilt you down a little bit this is the part I'm worried about like this area because these little little button loops I don't know if you can tell but they're not really 
very attached. They'd probably be better if it was like really tight on me because then they'd like catch and hold more. Um, but maybe not because the buttons are like not tight enough. Um, so they're just not gonna work is the thing. They're not gonna work. I have part of them pinned right now. But like I said for the live show, I think I'm just gonna tape all the way down and hope for the best. At least I won't flash anyone if I do it that way. So saying that, with how it is now, I'm gonna go take photos and hope I don't flash any of my neighbors. So that's good. Oh, I was gonna put the little jacket on. Let's see how it looks together. So I actually really like how this looks just alone. I like this like the neck thing comes out like very, I feel like this is actually something Cyrus would wear, but I did wanna try this little jacket thing. I think it's really cute. So, oh, the tag's still on it. Ignore that, don't worry about it. Um, Oh yeah, that works. I think it works. It's not the same color, of course, but I think it works. It's like the little, it's like a little half thing. I think it works pretty well. And I don't think I need to iron it. I think it like tightens out enough that you can't really tell. So let's put my skirt on and go take pictures. Hello, I am fully in my outfit and I am outside to take these photos because inside there's too much stuff in the community area. There's like stuff lining the walls and I really like using those backgrounds, like those walls as a background, but there was just too much stuff and I couldn't really move any of it, especially in this outfit. So we're taking photos outside and this is my full outfit. I'll, I'll lower you down so you can really get a full in motion shot of the full thing, but I'm really liking it. I have this skirt is also from Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned, but the top and the jacket are from Amazon. And then the shoes I have on are from like a random place. I don't even know if I could find it anymore, but I have like Victorian style shoes on. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, I apologize if you can hear the wind. It's a little windy out. The clouds are getting darker, so I probably have to like wrap this up real fast. But first, let me show you. So yeah, I'm really proud of this cosplay though. I wasn't sure how it was gonna all come together, but I think it came together pretty damn well. So let's take, I took some pictures before, but now I'm gonna take some more too, so. I just realized that I should have brought a notebook with me because Darius is always making lists and taking notes and everything. I should have brought a notebook. Why didn't I think of that? Anyway, more photos. So I'm gonna go back inside now because it really looks like it's gonna start raining soon. I don't know if I'm happy with the pictures I took and I definitely should have worn a bra, but I'm really good with this outfit though. I really like how this outfit looks. I think it looks like Steris. Like this hair is real good, even though this wig is a pain in the ass. Let me, I already mentioned it, but I'm mentioning it again because it was so annoying to get on. So tomorrow is the live show. It's currently, it's currently 6.20 and uh, I need to finish doing the synopsis for Bands of Morning and Secret History. We need to finish the PowerPoint presentation. We have a lot of stuff to do as always. We both do this and I don't know why we do it where we leave everything until the last minute. Um, and then every month we're like, we're not doing that next month and then we do it again next month. So hopefully for Way of Kings, we're not leaving it all to the end. Brie has already started the synopsis because I feel like that was really helpful last month and I feel like it's also gonna be really helpful this month. And then it'll definitely be helpful for Way of Kings because nobody but Brie is gonna remember what stuff happened where and all the stuff we wanna talk about. So, yes, giving you a little behind the scenes on what the live show stuff is like, I have to say. It's a lot of fucking work. <laughs> like, we knew going into this that this, like, read-along was going to be a lot of work, but then we just kept adding stuff for us to do, so. The PowerPoint presentation is kind of my fault. I'll take the blame for that one. Uh, Brie is awake. I just saw her message. So I'm gonna go upstairs and probably send her some of these photos because I think they look good. I actually think I'm gonna take a few photos on my phone out here with the background because I think the green background really like nails at home that this is era two, you know. There's green guys on Skadriel. Who the fuck? Yeah, this is gonna be a really long vlog and it's just me being nonsense and stressed and everything. So enjoy that. It is the day of the live show. 
and I am once again in costume and um, I realized that yesterday when I was taking photos ignore the mess behind me this is where I did my ma oh where'd my finger go this is where I sit and do my makeup and then that's my bookshelf and then that's a disaster ignore that so I realized yesterday that I didn't really like, I hadn't put a bra on, I think I mentioned this, I hadn't put a bra on under this shirt because I didn't think it would need it, but it looked really not good. It didn't look good. My boobs were like, I have very uneven boobs and you could like really tell when there's no bra, which I haven't gotten used to yet because I didn't used to be a person that had to ever wear a bra. So this is new territory for me. So I think I'm gonna take photos now that I have the bra on, I'll show you when I get outside. It's not, it's okay photo weather. It's very cloudy and overcast, but it's like white. It's not very dark out, it's very bright still, um, even with the clouds. So I'm hoping that the photos come out pretty well. We will see. I also did my makeup better today, I feel like, so I wanted to get some like face shots to use. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm not a good makeup person, so this is like, real impressive for me <laughs> okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my shoes on and go outside because i don't have my shoes on yet so that is the plan see you in a minute there's a church in the back building of my apartment that's what that noise is yeah but at least i'm just taking pictures i'm not actually really gonna vlog out here i'm gonna film a clip of me doing some dancing in this outfit because I think that would be kind of funny but let's try and get me ready so I'm gonna take my glasses off and then I'm gonna try I need to be down a little more there you go and then I need to try and get this situated I had to I had it all good and then I had to mess it up to get down here with my mask and everything so we want to just totally wall this off because the, the, I'll explain it later. This is what I wish would just go away. That is my problem. Let's see how it looks if I take a Plain, 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 plain. I look so tired. I put some concealer on, but it's... Concealer can't help me, <laughs> honestly. It's really hard not to dance when there's like a drum beat going. I don't know if anyone else has that problem. <laughs> okay, I think I have taken enough photos for now. Hopefully I like some of them this time. We'll see, my eyes are so tired, like I mentioned the the bags under my eyes, but also my eyes themselves are just really tired, so the light is just too bright for me. So, I took a ton of photos, hopefully that works. Now we're gonna very uncomfortably shove my glasses on, and then shove the mask on. Sterus, but COVID. <laughs> Fun. Okay, let me put my jacket back on. And then let's head back in and get on video chat with Bree to figure out last minute stuff. Also, I have to eat before the live show. I would say don't let me forget, but you can't help me with that, so. I mean, I'm not against, no, I kind of am against organized religion, but that's a whole nother topic. I am against churches in my apartment building. I, I'm admitting that. Also shouting. I'm against shouting. Not just during church, just like in general. Generally against shouting. Just to let y'all know. So, remember that. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I almost forgot to film the dancing clip. Bring in the dancing lobsters, man. Come on, you can't just not film a dancing clip. Okay, let me find music, hold on. The competition, a seeker and a chaser. Hello. 
Hello friends, our live show is officially in 40 minutes and so I'm going to close out this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know it's going to be a really long one. I tried to film an outro outside so you could get the pretty green greenery behind me but it was just not possible. So I'll just film it here in my normal, normal spot. There's some hairs coming off my wig. Can you see them? So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, I'm really proud of this cosplay. I think it looks really good and it was a lot of fun to do. So I hope you all enjoyed watching me put it together and everything like that. Make sure you go and watch Bree's Marisai cosplay because it looks amazing. It's so good. Um, yeah, and I feel like we just like really killed the, our cosplays this month. I feel like we did a really good job. And it, since you missed the live show, there will be a link in the description where you can watch it back. I'm going to recommend it even though it ha we haven't even done it yet because I think it's going to be a ton of fun. Bands of Mourning and Secret History are so intense Cosmere reads that I feel like everyone's going to have a lot to say. And we're also doing a little presentation at the end because next month starts our Stormlight Month. And we want to make sure that everyone has a good grasp on the magic system, the world in general. So we're just kind of doing like a basic overview of all of that, of information up to that point. I will say it's not a full presentation. It doesn't have like all the information that is currently out there. We're just doing like up till secret history in our like reading thing. And of course, if you are new here and you haven't joined our crab along, um, feel free to jump into the Discord. You don't have to read Stormlight in September if you're not there yet. You can start back with Elantris or jump in with Mistborn, whatever you want to do. Everyone is welcome and we have a lot of fun there. And yeah, I think that is it. Make sure to check out Bree's Marisai cosplay if you haven't already. And I hope you have a great day, a beautiful time, and yeah, life before death, Radiance.